Hola a todos. So today I'm going to review el verbo tener and two of the tener expressions um, that you will be using this week. So the first tener expression that I'm going to review with you is tener ganas de. So essentially when you're using this expression, el verbo tener, and then the expression ganas de, that all goes together, you're essentially saying what you feel like doing or having, or you have the desire to do. Um, a lot of students ask me, well, couldn't I just use the verb querer when you get there? You can. So this is just one way to express yourself, and it's one that's commonly used in the Spanish language. So tener ganas de is what you feel like doing or having. So I have some examples if you look at A here. Tengo ganas de jugar fútbol. Tengo ganas de jugar fútbol. When you see this, you're literally saying, I feel like playing soccer. Tenemos, we. Tenemos ganas de dormir. Tenemos ganas de dormir. Tú tienes ganas de cantar. So one of the things that I want you to note and um, you will want to make sure that you add and are familiar with is that when you're using this verb tener with this phrase ganas de, you, it's needed. All of their ha, all of this has to be included. And then what's going to be followed is an infinitive verb. So it's a verb and either it's ar IR or ER form. You don't have to change this verb. You're going to keep it in its infinitive form. So we have the verb jugar, to play, dormir, to sleep, cantar, to sing. All right, so just leave it in its infinitive form. So the verb essentially that you're going to change is this verb, the net. This is the verb that you're going to change to uh, state who you're talking about. Is it yourself? Tengo, I, tú, tienes, you, él, tiene, him or her. Um, so that's the one that you're going to change to fit the subject. Everything else is going to stay with this format. So ganas de in an infinitive. It's fairly simple. ¿Qué tiene ganas de hacer? ¿Qué tiene ganas de hacer? El niño. ¿Qué tiene ganas de hacer? Dormir. Él. Él tiene ganas de dormir. Él tiene ganas de dormir. ¿Qué tiene ganas de hacer el hombre? Jim Carrey. Bailar. Él tiene ganas de bailar. Tiene ganas de Bailar. Muy bien. The next tener expression that we have here is tener que plus an infinitive. So this one's used when you say that you have to do something, like it's, an, it's a must. Tengo que estudiar el español. I have to study Spanish, of course. Tengo que recoger los libros. I have to pick up the books. Ustedes tienen que ir a la tienda. You all have to go to the store. Again, what I want you guys to note is this use of the verb tener that gets conjugated to fit the subject. Excuse me, the subject. And the use of an infinitive verb, like the verb estudiar. So you have all these list of verbs that you guys will have in module one of regular AR, IR, ER verbs, um, utilize them as you go through this module and are creating sentences. So tengo que estudiar. Tengo que recoger, to pick up, libros. Tengo que ir, to go, very um, common verb, ir a la tienda, I have, to, I have to go to the store. 
So um, those are your two tener expressions that you're going to learn. ¿Qué tiene que hacer? Ella tiene que Ella tiene que estudiar. Ella tiene que estudiar. ¿Qué tiene que hacer el hombre? Él tiene que... Él tiene que cocinar. Tiene que cocinar. To cook. Muy bien.